Hey everyone, welcome to this special episode of Trends in AI, covering some of our favorite spotlight papers from NeurIPS 2023. We start with large language models and the QLORA paper, which introduces a quantized training method that reduces memory usage and allows for fine tuning of a 65 billion parameter model on a single GPU, achieving comparable performance to ChatGPT on the Vicuna benchmark. In the Tree of Thought paper, the authors propose a decoding framework that enables the language model to gradually solve complex tasks that require planning using intermediate reasoning steps. Finally, this paper by Stanford researchers challenges the notion of emergent abilities in LLMs, arguing that they are a result of incorrect metric selection when evaluating the model's capabilities. Next up, in the field of reinforcement learning, the direct preference optimization algorithm is proposed to align a model with human preferences without the use of an explicit reward model, while being equally effective as PPO-based methods like RLHF. Although backpropagation has been the de facto standard for training neural networks, researchers from Princeton have shown that a zeroth order optimizer can fine tune language models with just forward passes, reducing the memory requirements and even optimizing for non-differentiable objectives. When training language models in data-constrained scenarios, experiments show that data repetition for up to four epochs is comparable to training on unique data, leading to a new scaling low that accounts for the decreasing value of repeated tokens. Clifford Group Equivariant Networks are a novel approach for constructing ON and EN equivariant networks allowing for expressive layers that can generalize to inner product spaces of arbitrary dimensions with benefits in applications such as physical simulations. Researchers from UC Berkeley demonstrate some of the shortcomings of current safety training methods by constructing jailbreaking attacks that expose failure modes in state-of-the-art language models due to competing objectives and mismatched generalization. In the field of computer vision, a paper by DeepMind explores the relationship between diffusion model objectives and the evidence lower bound, providing insights into the training dynamics of these models and their relationship to VAEs. Last but not least, researchers from the University of Amsterdam propose a new approach for object discovery using rotating features, allowing for the representation of more objects simultaneously in an effort to scale the binding problem to real-world data. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the conference. Enjoy discovery and see you next time.